Okay. So the whole thing, the it whole thread is, yeah. came out. Oh, wow. That's something to watch for. <laughs> well, let's see. So usually doing it with hardened, hardened bolts because you can use the, the hardened bolts or the mandrel, the mandrel which is also hardened. So that's how you do it. So, okay. So this one passed the test. So you can, you see there? Yes. So you see there? So you apply the load there. Okay, you apply the load there. Are you applying? So you're trying to separate the nut from the from the bolt or the mandrel. And remember, this is hardened, and this is the one that you're testing. So, if you come here, yeah, the procedure. So if you check, okay, mm. the flow specified table, whatever. So uh, the nut shall be removed using the fingers from the test mandrel. So the actual tensile test or actual uh, compressive test shall be carried out in accordance with whatever. The speed, which is the normal uh, test, test, test testing code, the speed of testing at the time if they're running cross, normally it's, okay, it's say the three millimeter per minute. The proof was specified in table four for nuts with coarse thread, and in table five for fine pitch, then applied and shall be maintained. Hmm? Shall be maintained for 15 seconds. That's what I told you. And then after that, you release it. Then when you release, I think the proof load shall, not, shall be minimized, so you must not exceed mm -hmm. whatever that is given there. The nut shall be removed using the fingers from the test mandrel. Okay. See? So, this is how. So, basically, you take the hardened bolt, okay, you screw it to the nuts that need to be tested. Yeah. So, you make sure that this one is bigger than your bolt. Mm -hmm. And then you press the loader nut, so it needs to go through. So while you're putting the pressure there, you need to reach the minimum requirement. And then you need to make sure that the load remain on it for 15 seconds. So after that, you come out, and then you need to make sure again that the nuts turn freely on the bolt. If that is the case, then your nuts is acceptable. As simple as that. Okay. So basically, you set the machine at the, the targeted load. Okay. This one failed by the look of the graph. Ooh, let's see. Let's see this one. The proof of failed. You can see that. Uh, you can see that the thread, the thread stripped. Can you see that? Okay. And please try to turn it freely. Let's see. Remember, you need to use your fingers. So you see, you can't turn it because it felt the threads are damaged. Okay. Oh, I should say the thread is damaged. Right. So this is one of the ones that has failed. You see how it, it looks like afterwards. Okay. So looking at the graph, you can see. Looking at the graph, you can see there. So if you see there, so the graph declines, then it shows that it has failed. Right. Cool. But this is a different test. It's not like a tensile test. That's why I told you. What is the proof load test for? It's more like, uh, okay, as you see, the capability of the exact to bear the load. The load. Okay. Yes. Then when you do that, if the nut does not, while they're doing that, if the thread does not strip from the nut, mm -hmm. or the nut does not break, and then it seems to be accepted. Oh, yeah, see, like that. Yes, like that. It's okay. Uh, Chop the thread Chop. Uh, Yes. And then, after that, yeah. if doesn't, yeah. then you remove the test. And then after the assembly, then you need to try to turn the bolts with your fingers. It says that in the 
in the testing course. Yes, 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 yes. 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 So if your fingers, yeah. if it doesn't turn freely, yes, it's deemed to be a failure. Oh. Then you can't carry on with the manufacturing because they are testing this so they can manufacture more bolt at that grade. Okay, so they yes. have specifications. Why? They have exactly. Yeah. So that is the basic idea of flow. But you say it's gonna break. Why is it not breaking? This one, it's the same one as this one. It's passing. That's the same as this. So that's one broke. Oh. Okay. So the whole thing, the, the whole thread is, yeah. came out. Oh, well. that's something to watch for. <laughs> well, let's see. So usually doing it with hardened, hardened bolts because you can use the, the hardened bolts or the mandrel, the mandrel which is also hardened. So that's how you do it. So okay, so this one passed the test. Now do it, do it, do it. So you see, with the fingers, if it doesn't turn free, then this is, this is a failure. Even though it has passed there, it did not break or strip, yeah. then it has failed. Okay. Thank you. 